Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So we have this power series and we have to find its interval of convergence. So I have already written the given power series here. So let us write the CN. CN means its coefficient. So let me mention here Cn is equal to, so the multiple of this bracket is 1 upon n factorial. So this is our Cn, right? Uh, see, we have to find interval of convergence, but for that, we need to know radius of convergence. So let us find radius of convergence first. So radius of convergence is a reciprocal of alpha. So where alpha can be calculated in this way, limit n tends to infinity mod Cn plus 1 upon Cn. So actually alpha has two distinct formulas. They will give us the same value as per our convenience, as per the need of problem, we decide the formula. So for this problem, that formula is better. Okay. So let us find alpha. But for that, we need to have Cn plus 1. So let us write Cn plus 1. It can be easily obtained just by replacing n by n plus 1. So n plus 1 factorial. So let us find alpha. Alpha is equal to limit n tends to infinity mod c n plus 1 upon c n. I am putting the values limit n tends to infinity c n plus 1 is 1 upon n plus 1 factorial and c n is 1 by n factorial. See there is no need to apply mod since we are having factorials. So obviously it will give positive values right. Uh, so we have some space let us use and let us remove this part. It is not required now. Uh, so let us continue it here. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity. So that n factorial is in denominator of denominator. It will go to the numerator. So n factorial upon n plus 1 factorial. So limit n tends to infinity n factorial n plus 1 factorial is nothing but n plus 1 into n factorial okay so what will happen this n factorial and n factorial we can easily cancel and we will have limit n tends to infinity 1 upon n plus 1 so if you apply the limit let us see what will get if you apply the limit here so we denominator will be infinity and 1 upon infinity is 0 so that's why its value is 0 so the value of alpha what we have got value of alpha is 0 then let us find radius of convergence, which is reciprocal of alpha. But see the value of alpha is 0. That means I should write 1 upon 0. 1 upon 0 is infinity. So the radius of convergence is infinity. So let us find interval of convergence. Interval of convergence. See, if the radius of convergence is infinity, interval of convergence is obviously minus infinity, comma infinity. Okay, it does not depend on any x or 3x plus 6. If the radius of convergence is infinity, it's infinite. The interval of convergence is obviously minus infinity comma infinity or you can also call it as set of real numbers. That means for each and every point, each and every real number, the given power series is convergent. So make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.